Right, you guys, today I'm going to show you some PC repair software that will help save your PC if you have some sort of issue with it. Maybe you need to back up your data, or maybe you need to back up your user profile, or do some repairs on your Windows system. Windows PE disks are really useful at doing just this. You can see here, Iron's Boot CD PE version will allow you to boot into a pre installed environment and run different applications to do what you need it to do. This is exactly what you're seeing on the screen right here. This is sort of like a Windows based system, but we're in a pre installed environment where you can run, say, data recovery software. You can run virus scans here. You can copy data from one hard drive to another. You can use other backup software all in these types of environments. You can browse the web from here. You can do all sorts of stuff with a Windows PE. Now, these are essential. These are what we call a Windows system rescue disk which will help you do a lot of things. So maybe your system is not booting and you want to recover the data on that system. Well, if you can't boot the system, then you won't be able to uh, get in there and get your data. Now you will be able to rip the drive out and put it into a dock and grab all your data that way. But you could also boot into a pre-installed environment like this one and do whatever you need to do. Maybe you need to run a scan on that drive to see whether there's malware on there. With the system not running, that means the malware won't be running, which means it will be easier to delete uh, that particular type of malware from the computer. You can use tools like Kaspersky Rescue Disk as well. Another one is the ANHDV boot. I'm not sure how you pronounce that, but basically this is another pre-installed environment where you can boot up to either Windows 11 PE or even Windows 10 PE. This Windows PE is packed with useful tools which you can use on a daily basis. Whether you're a home user or whether you're a PC technician, you can use these tools to help fix your PC. Now, they do a free version, which is what you're looking at right here, and they also do a paid version, but the free version is pretty good and it will do pretty much what you need it to do. So maybe you want to check temperatures of the computer from here, you can do, or maybe you want to check the CPU details. Or maybe you want to get all of the system information from the computer by using this method, and you can do that also here. Another good thing for these particular types of software is making backups of all your uh, license keys from here as well. If you can't get into the system and you want to back up all that information, you can do. So there's quite a lot you can do, and there's uh, a lot more that I'm not even mentioning in this video, but you can also test things from here. You can see here we've got pretty much a good bit of software here called Victoria and you can use that to check the drives. There's just so much use for these particular pieces of software. Now, if you want to create your own one of these, you can do, and I've shown people how to do these over the years. It's pretty straightforward to do if you know what you're doing, and also you have the resources, i.e. the programs to add into your WinPE, whereas this has all been created for you. So if you wanted to clone the disk or make an image of that disk, maybe you want to make an image of it so you can mount that image and pull all your data off. You can do that using a free software on here. Now, another popular one is the Sergi's WinPE tool here. And this is another tool that you can use. I think he does Windows 10 and Windows 11 versions. They come packed with software which you can use to fix and also back up all your data and do other stuff with these, as I've already mentioned. Now, you can drop these onto a program called Ventoy and boot into these whenever you like. Now, I don't want to suggest you have all of these because you only really need one, really. And uh, either one of these would be pretty much all you need to do everything you need to do. So just choose which one uh, suits you. Now, I will say that this one is kept up to date quite a lot, whereas some of the other ones uh, are pretty much not kept up to date at all. And once you uh, use them, uh, they will start getting out of date very, very quickly. Whereas this one is maintained and kept up to date by Sergi himself. And there's a lot of things on here that you can use, which is called registry editor. Maybe you want to edit the registry. Maybe there's some sort of corruption there. You can actually edit it from this environment as well. You've got good tools like the diagnostic software from uh, recovery toolkit here, which will allow you to reset passwords and also do a lot of other stuff like uninstall uh, Windows updates and things like that from this environment. So it's really good. You can even wipe the disk from this location if you wanted to. Maybe you want to completely erase all the data on that drive before you install Windows, you can do that from here as well. So it's a pretty powerful tool. And uh, again, it's heavily modded uh, by Sergi himself. 
Now, I won't be leaving any links in the video description for these. You can go off and find these yourself and download them at your own leisure. I may put the links on my website, uh, but basically, yeah, if you want to get these, uh, just do a search and you'll pretty much find them on the internet to download. Anyway, let's move on to the very last one here, which is called Medicat. Now, you've seen me cover a lot of these before, and they're all pretty good tools. So you've got your antivirus section on here, and you've also got your backup and recovery, your boot repair here, your diagnostic tools, your live operating systems, your partition tools, and also your password removal tools and Windows recovery tools are all inside here. And all you need to do is select which one you want to go into, and it will give you the selection of these tools in these locations. So just click on them, and it will give you a full list of stuff that it has on here, which you can use to recover data. Maybe you want to uh, recover data, say, using uh, RescueZilla, something like that. Click on this one, and the application will then start to mount and load up here. Let me just quickly show you so you can see exactly how this works, and then you'll be able to use this. So let me load it up. And there we are. We can now click a language that we want to use. So let's go ahead and select English. And we can say start RescueZilla here. And it will now load up. And you can then back up your data using this particular tool. It's a pretty decent tool for backing up data and even restoring data to that computer. So that is the uh, tool right there. So that is basically uh, that particular type of software. You can go back to the main menu and choose another piece of software. There's plenty to choose from in here, depending on what you're trying to do with that computer. You would just choose whatever you need to do. Let's just open up this one here. And you'll see how this works. So this is basically a Windows recovery area here. So I'll click on one of these and we'll load one of these up so you can see what it looks like. So let's quickly uh, load this up so you can see. And once you're loaded in, you'll see something looking like this here, where you get access to useful tools like password reset and other things like malware scanning tools and other things like that. So quite useful uh, to have. You can up update your drivers from here as well. And there's a ton of applications using the uh, portable apps uh, toolkit here. You can see there's plenty of tools to choose from inside here. So depending on what job you're trying to do, they will all be listed inside that location there. You just click on them and you've even got uh, ransomware recovery so maybe you've been hit with ransomware and you're trying to recover the data by using one of the decryption tools they are all inside here all of the tools are in here which are quite useful for recovering your data using the decryption tools built inside this uh, live environment here anyway i think that's going to be about it these are the, some of the best tools you can use there's plenty of other ones out there let me know if you want to see some more of these and i'll make another video showing you some of these i'll try and leave the links on my website and. Uh, have a check over there and try to check some of these out if you're interested. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Catch you in the next one, guys. Have a lovely weekend. Bye for now.